This video is sponsored by Squarespace. If you need a website, they got you covered. So my last video I did on console Sims games was about the Sims 2 pets on Wii. And I didn't have a ton of great things to say about that one, but a lot of you guys said, girl, just wait for the Sims 3 on Wii. And yeah. Yeah. I was really excited to play this one. The idea of The Sims 3, which runs like shit on most computers, being on the Wii is baffling to me. Truly an incredible feat in modern man-made technology. The Sims 3 was definitely an era. People remember how dog shit it ran, the excessively open world, cars for sure, and for me personally, how but ugly The Sims all looked. I never played it on console, but it did have have releases on, of course, Windows and Mac, but also Xbox 360 and PS3, and handheld versions on both the DS and the 3DS. The Xbox and PlayStation ports are pretty faithful, honestly, to the PC version, but then the Wii port, you know, they went and did something totally different with the Wii port. It does have some similarities, but it's pretty notorious for being a little bit out there and for making some questionable decisions. But hey, I'm up for a challenge. I am determined to have fun, damn it. So without further ado, The Sims 3 on Wii. 50 days of happiness. We have 50 days to live a life full of happiness and fulfillment. Let's see if we make it that far. God, I forgot how buttery and ugly The Sims 3 Sims look. Anyways, let's get into this cast. Now, The Sims 3 is famous for its color wheel and intricate sliders that make your computer heat up hotter than a stovetop. The Wii doesn't have any of that, thank god. I don't think it could handle it. But there's a few sliders for body and some skin tone options to work with. The traits are where it gets interesting. You can choose an archetype that gives you some predetermined traits for your sim and customize them to your liking. The Sims 3 has a ton of fun personality traits that give you unique social options and social consequences. The Wii version doesn't have every single trait from the computer game, but it has quite a few. I chose some social ones, hopeless romantic insane, charismatic, over-emotional, and megalomaniac. I figured it would be interesting to see how they affect our social life. The Sims 3 also allows us to choose a lifetime wish. These vary from career goals to skill level achievements, money hoarding, and oh yeah, I'm choosing Gold Digger. This is by far the most interesting lifetime wish, come on. We just have to outlive our rich spouse. So now we get back into making our sim cute. It's very hard in The Sims 3, but I'm doing my best here. There's no sliders for facial features and the same ugly hair and makeup. The clothing is by far the biggest disappointment. Everything is so ugly. It is actually impossible to put together a cute outfit. The Sims 1 and 2 eras had such banging fashion, and The Sims 3 is just a frumpy mess. This is the first console Sims game that I've played to have different outfits, everyday, formal, sleepwear, etc. If only everything wasn't so ugly, then maybe I would care a little bit more about having this feature at all. All right, I got something thrown together here. It's time to take Lissy out into the world. We get to pick where Lissy lives from a bunch of different lots in the town. We can either choose a shell home, buy it furnished, or start with an empty lot. I'd rather not delve into the build and buy mode right now, so I'll just go ahead and choose a house that I can afford to buy pre-furnished. Okay, wow, here we go. Direct mode. In certain prior Sims console games, playing in direct mode where you directly control your Sim has been an option. But in The Sims 3 on Wii, it's the only option. That means no queuing up actions folks. Just running around being a menace. I'm trying to get used to how everything works. We've got little moodlets. Our sim will occasionally pop up with some wishes that we can choose to save and complete for happiness points. I love that the game automatically pauses when I click on a sim or object. That's amazing. It's a huge pain on console when it doesn't, so this is useful. But we have completed our first wish by talking to this random stranger and gained some happiness points that we can spend on rewards later. Our traits give us fun, unique social interactions like more insane conversation starters or charismatic ones. This game is open world, by the way. Yeah, The Sims 3 was brave enough to make their console ports open world. I truly applaud their effort. We can either go to the map and 
choose where to go by taxi cab or run wherever our heart desires. I didn't get a paper sent to my house today as I didn't subscribe to it, which I think you have to do yourself. So I decided to go around town and see what kind of jobs I could get. If you've never played The Sims 3 at all, the town may be open world, but a good amount of the buildings are rabbit holes where you can't necessarily go inside yourself, but your sim can go in there and do stuff and disappear for a while. I went around to a few buildings to find myself a fancy new job, but I mostly was just trying to explore the town. When approaching houses and lots, you get a short little loading blip, which isn't too bothersome, but if you run on the sidewalk at all, you'll accidentally trigger a ton of loading blips if you step out of the lines, you know? Okay, well, I found a nice house that has people home, so why not go make myself at home? Who knows, my future rich old husband might live here. This might be my house one day. Oh, perfect, Luis, are you rich? Jesus Christ, this house is a mess to walk around. Whoa, I wanna, I wanna marry Luis already? I just met the guy, jeez. I think everyone's stuck. Actually, what the fuck? Not a good look, Sims 3. Maybe they would be able to fix it themselves, but no, they're bugging. Okay, I guess I can try to go fix this. Maybe Maria could be my rich wife. Ooh, a special hopeless romantic interaction. Whisper in ear. Oh, she did not like that. <laughs> okay, well, I'm done here. I guess my strategy for getting a rich spouse will be just that. Walk up to the big houses and see what magic we can make happen. We almost forgot about our initial task, which was to get a job. I'd like to be rich, so I'm thinking we can get a job in the medical field. What else is there to do? Oh, we can swim. That's neat. And there's fishing. Yeah, The Sims 3 is a really special game. I played a lot of the base game alone when it came out. I don't think I really ever cared about expansion packs much. I think that mostly was because of the dinky computer I had to play it on, but I remember really enjoying the gameplay, and quite a bit of that is here. One thing I don't like, I have to pull up the sim menu to check on her needs. Luckily, it's not a super laggy process, but still, there's a whole unused button on the Wiimote. Don't know why we couldn't have conjured up a quick needs UI. I will give them flowers for not making the speed up time action into two buttons in this one, like in The Sims 2 Pets on Wii. Ugh, that was god awful. After a good night's rest, we were ready for our very first day at work as an organ donor. Imagine that being your job. Like, you only have so many organs. I guess it'd be a temp position. Working is super interesting in this game. You sort of get to go to work with your sim. This is a great idea on console, actually. It pulls up a menu where you select which tasks you want to complete in the workday. Some will further your relationship with your boss, others, your lazy slacker coworkers, and some will even give you skill points. It's pretty neat. Building up your work performance bar unlocks more work tasks that'll reward more points, and getting the bar all the way up gives you a promotion. I didn't get one my first day, but I'm close. Not sure if there's skill requirements for promotions though, as they don't specify the levels of skills needed, but they are, quote, necessary. Sure, whatever that means. Since I'm gonna need logic, why not hit the library and play some chess? Something I loved about The Sims 3 was the incentives to just be all around town. I loved being able to send my sim to a lot to do something and then switch to a sim at home and have that sim do something else. It feels like you're interacting with the community more, you know? I don't have another sim to switch to at the moment, but still, I can't help but notice that the world in this console version feels very empty. Maybe I have rose tinted glasses for The Sims 3, but this feels not normal. Also, fuck stairs. I hate that I have to select the stairs to use them. How fucking awful is that? Also, why wouldn't we have easels at the art gallery? Don't we think that'd be useful? Hmm. Just saying. Anyways, I need to take care of my Sim. She's hungry and eepy and hates salad, apparently. It makes her sick, me, honestly. The next day at work was pretty chill. I was so close to a promotion that I didn't need to do much, but now I'm a bedpan cleaner. Live in the dream. Let's see, can we find ourselves a man? Preferably one that's rich and gonna die soon? What is this house? This is the weirdest shit I've ever seen. What the hell? After climbing way too many stairs and getting caught in far too many doorways, I found my next targets. But one has a little exclamation point. Is that a quest? An opportunity? Oh, this is neat. Sims who have the exclamation point give out opportunities, which are little side quests with rewards. This one is asking, me to attend a chess meet at the bookstore. How neat. I went there to see what's up and uh, the option wasn't available. 
What the heck? Oh, I have to come back between 7 and 4 p.m. Well, I tried. Next family. Okay, we got the Williams. Big house, kid, no parents. I'll just go ahead and make myself at home. No one's bothered by me making mac and cheese, right? Someone did come home, but they went straight to bed. Looks like a man, potentially a rich one. I wonder if he's single. Single dad vibes? I'll let him sleep. You know, I'm kind of tired myself, so I'll take the extra kid's bed. His wife did come home in the night. You know, maybe there's trouble in paradise. Why is she coming home so late? Mm -hmm. Well, Tom McWilliams is unemployed. Anyways, what? How do you have this big old house and no job? I gotta do some investigating. Is the wife the breadwinner here? Unemployed! Well, that's lame. They could still be rich, but I'm worried that the town is gonna be full of a bunch of unemployed randos, you know? I hate that. I like townies with at least some interesting backstory. Anyways, after work, I tried to visit some more homes around town, and unfortunately, a lot of them are either vacant or people just aren't home, which is really inconvenient when you need to pee. This is not the rich spouse I'm looking for, but thanks for letting me use your potty. I gotta figure out how I'm gonna make this happen. I only have so much time on this earth to kill my rich spouse. Working and effortlessly getting promoted is getting a little bit old. I did get an opportunity to read a book and increase my job performance, but when I went to go buy the book in the bookstore, it wasn't there. Oh. I'm a big dum-dum. It, it's in my inventory. Well, okay, that's enough excitement for one day. I'm also not sure if I really have to work on building skills at all, for my job at least. I have no problem getting promotions. If I just show up and do what I'm supposed to do, I can get a promotion within the day. I wonder if having higher skills boosts where your job performance meter starts. I don't know. I don't remember if this was like that in The Sims 3 on computer. I wish the map had a more comprehensive list of the other households, it's hard to know who's actually rich or not, as a lot of the houses are empty and they only show you sims that you've met before on the map. I thought I would go check out the gym and see if I can meet any hotties, but I shit you not, I was there for hours and not a single soul stepped into this building. It's just feeling kind of empty in this world. Maybe I do have to go steal someone's husband after all. Finally, we got a hit on a house with a family in it. This place looks nice. Oh look, a man asleep in his bed. Let's wake him up and see what he's about. Unemployed, Jesus Christ. I hate it here. Anyways, it's the weekend, which means I have no work. Only play. Maybe we can turn some things around here. I went to the bookstore to complete the chess me opportunity and felt inspired to play some chess in the library where I actually met another sim. This sim works in first grade. That does not look like a first grader. That is a tiny man. The outfit, the haircut, it's not working. The art style of this game was very interesting, you know? Yeah. Let's hit the town and meet some other nice sims like Miss Doris Johnson here. She's got an opportunity for me. Oh, oh, what, what the fuck? <laughs> what? Doris, no. Holy shit, did that just happen right in front of me? That is so sad. Doris, rest in peace. You know what? Let's take her to the cemetery. <laughs> this is so sad, oh my God. She deserves a proper burial, not a gravestone in the middle of the street. That was fucking insane, was it not? I'm traumatized. Okay, well, let's find somewhere to rest our heads tonight. Oh, look here, an elder sim. This old man has some husband potential. Maybe instead of finding a rich man, I could just find one that's close to death and get rich myself. Maybe that'll work for our gold digger lifetime wish. Before I do that, I'd like to try one last time with Tom McWilliams. He wasn't home, so I decided to invite him to my place. You're the light giving lamp, wait, what? You're the light giving lamp. She's literally giving lamp. <laughs> You're the light giving lamp in the living room of my life. I'll be right over. <laughs> See, this man is a class act. Husband material. Okay, let's befriend Tom as much as we can tonight and see where this relationship goes. Tom's clothing did change in the middle of talking to him, and he's starting to hunch over. I think he turned into an elder right in front of my eyes. I don't know. I can't tell. I have to take care of some needs real quick, but I asked him to spend the night, so... Hopefully he's stuck here. We're friends now, but our flirting interactions are not doing so well because he's tired. He actually tried to leave. Um, no, sir. Get back here and let me compliment your personality. Ugh. This is not good. Maybe it's time to let this train leave the station. Clearly, it's not meant to be. <laughs> I'm still fucking laughing at giving land. <laughs> Clearly, it's not meant to be. I think I need to take the hint. I've got to think of a new plan. 
But first, we have to go back to work. I managed to knock out two promotions pretty quickly. You know, we're now a trauma surgeon and work nights. Outside of work, I ran into Marvin Chen, who is my boss. Luckily, because I'm such a good employee, our relationship is really high. We're already friends, so we can get to flirting right away. And he's a trauma surgeon. Like, he's gotta be rich, right? I know how much money you make, Marvin. Let's go, first kiss. Yes, it worked. Now we can ask him to go steady and boom, we're a couple now. I do know that in the relationship tab, it's supposed to say rich under other information. That's not popping up yet, but I also don't know any of his traits. So hopefully he does actually end up being rich. I went home tonight as a girlfriend, folks. Moving on up. I now work nights, so I can speed things along with Marvin Chen during the daytime. It didn't take long before I was able to propose marriage. And would you look at that? He said yes. Of course he did, I'm a catch. Nice, we can also ask him to move in before we do the deed. I'd like to see what it's like living with another Sim too. We can switch over to Marvin now and play with him, check out his info, you know, the works. I can't help but notice that he didn't bring any money with him. Hmm. Bummer. I suppose it's time to sell the house though. Let's upgrade to something a little nicer. We finally get to talk about the atrocious build buy in The Sims 3 on Wii. There's a ton of great houses to choose from, but it'd be sick to build a new one on this empty lot. So I think that's what we're gonna do. Well, we're gonna try to do it. The build buy mode is the biggest complaint about this game by far. First of all, you can't freely build in this game. Although building hasn't been a problem in previous console Sim titles, they decided to make it a problem in this one. You get to choose a house shell and go from there. Of course, you can add rooms and walls, but you have to play with the shells. It's actually not that terrible when it works. I, for the life of me, could not get this to work at all. I tried multiple house shells and could not get the house to place. The game would tell me I'm violating fire code every time, even if I chose the smallest houses. And fire code is just console speak for too much going on. After researching some forums, I saw that maybe if you have too many items in your household inventory, it'll yell at you, but no, I just have two books. This shit sucks. I gave up. I can't even get the damn house to place. So I sold the empty lot and opted to move into the nice houseboat down the way. Instead of buying it furnished, I thought it'd be fun to do that part myself. Oh boy. It was not fun, not at all. I had to build some walls myself inside the house, no big deal, I could figure that part out. Adding wallpaper is a nightmare mess, but I pushed through. Not to mention the swatches are ugly. Why are the sims so round and blobby and all the other textures in the game are so crunchy? I don't understand the sims 3. I tried to make the house as cute as possible, but it was running out of money fairly quick. We can cut some corners on appliances. I couldn't get the walls to come down in build or buy mode, forcing me to wing it when it came to placing objects in the bathroom. Oh, fire code. Wait, are you serious? I only put items down in the kitchen and the bathroom and not even that many items. Oh my, this game is gonna kill me. Fuck this. I'll lay down the bare minimum and move on. But how disappointing is that? This is the most buggy, glitchy part of the game by far. It's pretty atrocious, even by Sims 3 standards. I wish I could enjoy this beautiful home, but whatever. I think I'd rather focus on marrying my man. I'm super disappointed in the gameplay here though. I just wanna be able to travel with two Sims, but no, we can't do that. We have to bring Sims out to a lot one by one. And it's not exactly easy to switch back and forth between Sims when they're on different lots. We get stuck with the weird zoom out faux loading screen or the weird zoom out taxi faux loading screen. Oh my God, we're literally on the same lot. Don't do this to me. Okay, Lissy, go marry your man. So much for romance. This has been a total pain. But Marvin and Lissy here made it official and tied the knot. Toes in the sand. Tom was there, my sort of ex, seething probably. No, he gave me an opportunity. I got quite a few on the beach here, actually. Is this where all the townies have been hanging out? Getting both of my Sims to work was also a pain since you can't travel with multiple Sims. The problem is mostly the direct mode, actually, since you can't really send your Sims off into the world by themselves, you have to directly walk them to things. Playing with multiple 
multiple sims is really making me miss queuing actions. I'm just gonna let them all autonomously do shit from now on instead of trying to get them to do things that I want, like go to work. <laughs> Who needs money, am I right? Both Lissy and Marvin brought home a paycheck. Lissy earned a bonus, by the way. And this is just my life now. Marvin's not showing up as rich, which yeah, we kind of spent all our money on this stupid house. But I'm thinking there might be a solution to that without having to work our butts off. First, this game does have multiple life stages, so I'd like to have a kid and see what that's about. Woohooing in general is such a pain. Honestly, I hate the whole relax in bed thing. So glad that we're out of the relax in bed era. I finally was able to call Marvin over and get busy. We tried for baby and then went to work like responsible adults. While Lizzie was at work, she got the news that she's pregnant. She'll take a day off and then give birth the next day. The maternity leave is paid, so that's sick. But instead of of waiting around to get rich, I decided to do a little bug exploiting and make it happen a little bit quicker. I read online that you can go to the supermarket and buy fish. I think any old fish will do since there were multiple fish listed in multiple places online, but you buy up a ton of fish. I got a hundred catfish for $600. And then the next day you can go back and sell the fish for more money, supposedly. It didn't work. My fish were still only selling for $6. Then I read that you have to put the fish in the fridge, wait at least 30 minutes, and then take them out and sell them again. Holy shit, 17K per catfish? Damn. That's absurd. Let's do it. Infinite money glitch, Ayo. And now Marvin is finally officially rich. It's time to put our plan in action. Oh, I guess I have to give birth. <laughs> Everybody welcome our new baby, Chris. I just let it keep the generated name because the game didn't tell me the gender until after I named it. Super cool. Now we just have this random kid in the house. Neat. He's in first grade and will go to school and everything. But now that we have a rich husband, it's time to outlive him. I made a special little room for him on top of the house with a nice little barbecue grill and no door. Oops. I thought it'd be cool if he burned to death, it would be super quick and easy, right? But he didn't. It was actually kind of hard to start a fire, even in a house that does not meet fire code. I gave him a lot of opportunities to die by hot dog fire, but it wasn't working. His needs were depleting pretty quick, and without a place to set the hot dogs down, he was doomed to die by neglect. The screen even gave us black bars because he's in distress. This was taking a really long time. Maybe I should just delete the grill or something? You know, so he could just not feed himself and die by starvation, but he's still stuck with the hot dog plate. I can't have him put the hot dogs in his pocket anymore because his needs are so low. Maybe we just need to wait a little bit longer. We did neglect Lissy a little too much though. She needs to pee so bad that she won't fix the broken toilet. She'll just complain about her bladder. I also can't buy a new toilet because fire code, awesome. I was gonna have her just run to a nearby lot, but we didn't make it in time before she soiled herself. So problem solved, I guess. Marvin's still up on the roof, dying a slow, painful death. <laughs> That's so awful. Yeah, I can't get him to put the plate down. I think that's what's preventing him from dying. I was going to give him a table so he could just set the plate down himself, but Jesus fucking Christ, this fire coat thing is so god awful. I can't do shit. I even sold just about everything in the house and still couldn't add anything new. My dumbass sold all the surfaces too, so I had to put a door back on Marvin's room. Uh, <laughs> uh, cups of a rose. <laughs> I am feeling so goofy. Go Marvin, go set those dogs down. The second he did, he pissed himself and then perished. RIP, my husband is dead. Warning the grave doesn't complete the lifetime achievement of being a gold digger. Maybe we just have to give it some more time? Also, my kid is passed out in the bathroom. What in the hell is going on? I don't know why he passed out. He can sleep in the same bed as me. Maybe he's sad, you know, because of recent events. Like, damn, get it together. We should get out of this shithole. We're rich enough to buy the most expensive house in this town, fully furnished, nine times over. The family is moving on up. This place is really nice. 
Way too many stairs for my liking, but very, very beautiful. This is also a beautiful place to lay Marvin to rest and mourn him and his life, but I'm still no gold digger. I guess it makes sense. I'm technically the rich one. I didn't technically marry a rich person. He was rich after he got with me. Maybe that's the issue, but I met a lot of people in the town and not one of them was quote unquote rich. I don't know. I feel like it should have worked. So I think I'm just about done with this playthrough. I made it pretty far in the game, I think, as much as I would like to, at least. My plight with the last two console Sims games I've played on this channel, The Sims 2 Pets and The Sims 3, both on Wii, is that I think console Sims games kinda struggle without a story mode. There is something magical about playing a Sims game with all the freedom in the world to do whatever you please, especially when we were younger and these games were new and exciting. But looking back on all the console Sims games I've played, I would say the ones with story modes hold up the best. I just don't see a point in returning to console games without stories or some sort of guidance. Because if I want to run around and do what I want, I'm going to just do that on the PC versions without the restrictions that the console games have. I know, I can hear some of you now. The Sims is as fun as you make it. You're just boring. Yeah, sure. But you can't deny the Sims games with plots are really fucking good. Now, another big gripe I had with this Sims game, it was a buggy glitchy mess. I encountered so many weird glitches and bugs throughout my playthrough. Some pretty funny, but mostly annoying. The house thing is very annoying. And then there's just really not that much to do in general. I do like socializing with other Sims, exploring the careers and activities and interactions. The opportunities thing is cool until you keep getting the same ones over and over. All of that is neat. And the Sims 3 open worlds thing is fun to explore. I've never been one to hate rabbit holes or anything. I love that you can go to work with your Sims. I like the capacity in which you go to work with them, where you just get to make decisions, not like run around around the office with them. That's a little too much for me. I will say, also, I can't believe how many Sims I saw die right in front of me. You can't change the lifespan of Sims, so you'll be running around town and either see people burst into flames at least once a day, or just see graves line the streets. It's pretty funny, not gonna lie, but damn. Yeah, there's a ton of glitches. You can just tell that optimization was an afterthought after playing more than one in-game week. I am curious to know what your thoughts are on The Sims 3 on Wii. Did you play it? I can see if you had this game maybe when you were a little bit younger and in its heyday, it being very fun and awesome, especially if you didn't have it on the computer. I never mean to be too hard on console ports of The Sims. Most of them I have really loved, but some of them I think are misses. But regardless, we can talk about weird console Sims ports all day. But at this point, I would rather talk about today's awesome sponsor, Squarespace. Space. Squarespace is a one-stop shop for all of your website needs, whatever those may be. You start off with one of their many gorgeous, clean, and professional website templates and can customize it easily to whatever you need it to be. If you are in need of a portfolio because you are an artist, a place to display your restaurant's menu, a place to put all of your information for your small business, somewhere to send guests to RSVP to your future wedding, there's tons of reasons why you might need a website. Small businesses that are interested in selling products online can look to Squarespace's e-commerce tools. They utilize many third-party extensions that can help you better manage your business, as well as the detailed analytics tab. And you can make and schedule appointments and send your clients invoices directly through Squarespace. As far as my own website, listthelast.com, I utilize it as a way to get information out to people that are interested in maybe my Animal Crossing codes, my Stardew Valley mods, and more recently, a blog where I talk about my video making creative process and practice my writing skills. If you're jealous of my super cool website and you want to get your own, head to squarespace.com for a free trial. And then once you are ready to launch with your website template, go to squarespace.com slash list the last or use code list the last to save 10% off of your very first purchase of a website or domain. Let me know what console sims ports you're interested in seeing next or just any sims games in general. It's been 
been a deep, deep obsession for me for the last couple months. I'm thinking that my next thing is gonna be Harvest Moon. Any Harvest Moon heads out there? Any farmers? So stay tuned for that. If you liked this video, you might like the video where I played The Sims 2 on console. Had a very different experience there. Don't forget about my second channel. I hope you're having a great day and you continue to do so and I will see you in the next one.